All right, guys, I am back, and and welcome back to another video. Also, happy Friday. So, yes, this is going to be some crazy video that y'all are going to probably be, like, thinking about, sh thinking about this straight and shock. Well, is that going to be, like, what y'all are thinking? But no. But this is going to be my top five AEW wrestlers that some of y'all didn't know who worked for WWE. Now, I'm not talking about, like, the ones who uh, recently led WWE, like, Cesaro, Adam Cole, Roderick Strong, or, um... Mike Canellis or that. But, um, anyway, let's go ahead and get to it. So, or Keith Lee or, uh, the others, you know. Number one, Cole Cabana. Now, what some of y'all didn't actually know, Cole Cabana had, sort of had a run into the E just a tiny bit. But, sadly, um... He debuted on a on an episode of SmackDown in 2008, and then months later, around like February of 2009, he kind of got released from WWE. So yeah, number two, the Young Bucks. Um, yep, the Young Bucks. You probably may not know. Well, you guys may know. Who, well, everybody knows who the Young. Bucks is like this one that y'all are gonna probably be shocked about. Uh, but I think this was on an ECW or um a SmackDown episode of a storyline where uh the Miz and John Morrison uh sort of had a had a feud with Shawn Michaels. And Triple H. And. What you guys didn't know. They hired like. These two guys. That looked. Ex I'll be right back. Like I was saying. These two guys. To dressed up like. Triple H and Shawn Michaels. But what you guys didn't know. That was actually the Young Bucks. Well, okay, except one of them did have a match on SmackDown by using their real name. I think it was against with, like, the Brian Kendrick or Mark Carey. But besides that point, number three, um... Ooh. Yeah, I'm sorry about breaking out of the character, but, uh... uh I'll be right back. Okay. Number f three, MJF. So, y'all probably may know, uh, MJF was originally supposed to be a WWE wrestler, but, uh, Ray Regal said he couldn't get him the job because he was too young. But besides the point, now, this was at a NXT pay-per-view event. And yes, it's like where Samoa Joe was the NXT champion. And... You look at one of the security guards in the yellow shirt, and I'm not going to lie to you guys, that one of those guys was MJF getting shoved by Samoa Joe. And I think seven years later, he did it again at the last AEW pay-per-view. And I think Samoa Joe and MJF is going to have a, ri a, a, ri a feud really soon. So number four, um, I'm going to check out the fourth. AEW wrestler who used to work for WWE. So be right back. So number four, Sammy Guevara. I'm not lying, guys. Uh, I think he had like one dark match on a SmackDown once. He had a random partner, and then going up against with the 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 Colin brothers. You know, Primo and Epico. The Younger brothers of Carlito. But back in 2018, like a year before AEW was even a thing, uh, Sammy Guevara did do a WWE tryout. 
but Sally didn't get signed. And last and certainly not least, number five. If y'all are not gonna believe me about this, but um Eddie Kingston. Yep. Uh actually no wait wait wait, no, not Eddie Kingston. The Briscoe brothers. Yep. Uh sadly, um yes. Mark Briscoe, Jay Briscoe, was originally supposed to sign with WWE in 2009, but there was like a fight that happened during their WWE tryout, and well, WWE just says, nope, to the Briscoe brothers. But, it was a good thing that uh, people was talking about it like months ago, like Chris Jericho on his podcast, and that was it. But um, anyway, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe, and have a safe weekend. And still, like, comment, subscribe. Boop.